significant threat. In addition to that, there's an underground organization attempting to exploit the situation. So we must face the possibility that stigma is being circulated as a biological weapon. Oh, if it's the, uh, hang on. It's the guy. I think I can figure out who that is. Actually, no, I can't. Not from this list. God damn it. I will. Or the other one either. Oh well. I guess I can't actually get reference for it right now. But in order to investigate, we need the cooperation of Homeland Security. No need to worry about that. I've already notified the appropriate individuals. Thank you. I appreciate it. However, I'm afraid we don't have much time to waste. There have been reports from around the world describing symptoms that suggest the presence of stigma. There's even been a major outbreak in one country. You're talking about Kularuma, correct? Yes. We've had one patient flown in for examination. We'll handle the treatment and subsequent analysis here in the U.S. Caduceus will be seeing to it. In case you weren't aware, Mr. Deputy Secretary, Caduceus is our country's finest. There's no need to explain. I'm familiar with the organization. Well, meanwhile... I'm so glad that you're all back safely. He must have been so scared. You have no idea, but we survived. With each other's help. I'm sorry you had to endure such an ordeal. We must take stringent measures to strengthen our security immediately. With no word since your disappearance, we had begun to fear the worst. How are you feeling? Were you... It was a difficult situation, but we were determined to get through it. Having met our enemy face to face, my resolve to continue this mission has grown even stronger. I wouldn't have objected if you had decided to resign, but I'm glad to hear you say that. We can't win the war against stigma without you three. Something caught my attention while we were being held captive. It concerns Professor Wilkins. I think he may be a member of the Kidman family. Oh boy. Goodness. Could that be true? The Professor? What do you mean, Marcus? Well, you know that guy they refer to as the Director? His face was hidden, but he was definitely the same height and had the same build as the Professor. He also appeared to be the center of their research on stigma. If he is Professor Wilkins, then this would all make sense. I have to disagree. The way he moved and spoke, I just don't think he could be Professor Wilkins. I'm not positive, but it seems very likely. I just can't figure out how he got mixed up with them. Regardless, I'll notify the FBI. Now, I understand that you're concerned, but I need you to continue with your mission. The patient has been flown in by the military. We don't know how infectious the disease is, so use the quarantine transfer unit. Hmm. According to preliminary examination, we are dealing with a new type of stigma. Already? I don't think we'll be seeing the other one for... Uh... So we'll be relying heavily on your abilities. A while, though. I know that's a lot to ask since you just returned, but I hope you're up for the challenge. I think we might actually need a new serum for the one after Onyx. Well, at least we're not out of practice, having been forced to operate while we were held captive. Oh my, is that true? Yes, believe it or not. I'd like to say that you will have the very best working with you in the research lab, but unfortunately, we've lost a key staff member. We'll still do all that we can now. Did something happen? Cynthia left. She quit while you were away. Why would she do such a thing? She seemed so dedicated to her work. Do you have any idea why she quit, Isabella? As a representative of Humani, I'm not at liberty to say. But I'll tell you as a friend. She seems to have gone through a lot with the higher-ups concerning stigma. They blamed her for developing products that increase patients' susceptibility to stigma. But no one could have anticipated that side effect. It's a shame to lose someone like her, but we can't dwell on it. Let's prepare for the operation, Val. That's too bad. I had hoped to work with Cynthia until we eradicated stigma together. Hmm. Just so you're aware... Well. I'll be present throughout the operation. I realize it may be difficult to perform such a procedure after your recent ordeal. Don't worry, Kanai. We can handle it. I'm glad to hear that. 
I can't tell you how relieved I was to learn that you three were safe. I hear this is a new strain of stigma. Yes, but the preliminary tests didn't tell us much. We did learn two things, though. First, it has multiple arms, which are causing all the damage. <laughs> so I guess this is the one I thought it was going to be. Second, we can prevent further damage by removing the grapplers from the ends of the arms. Sounds like a complicated procedure. It's affixed to the affected area, so we can't pull it off by force. In that case, I think we should first try to restrict its movement and then excise it. That's where this baby comes in. What's that? It's the result of our research. It will allow us to turn Stigma's own characteristics against it. You see, we were able to extract a calorium-based fluid, which will temporarily restrict its... Basically, it can stop the pathogen's movement for a short period of time. Would you mind giving it a try? No problem. So you got stuff for more puzzles. Good to be back. Now, let's get started. Timing, and this time in the form of an actual pathogen. Unfortunately, we don't know how to proceed until we've taken a closer look. But at least we have a second opinion today. Well, let's begin by opening him up. Right, let's take a look at this. This multi-armed thing. There it is. Stigma is definitely present. It's bizarre looking, that's for sure. It appears to have a core from which the arms are extending. Yep. Let's try using that new stuff. We're supposed to inject it into the grapplers, correct? So we inject it here. Something's been released from the central or core. Try to, and then that happens. Toxin, I presume. If we ignore it, it'll enter the patient's <coughs> body via the grapplers. Needless to say, it will be detrimental to the patient. We have to find a way to stop the toxin from spreading. And well, the way we do that is by we have to pinching see. these things with If we forceps. pinch the arm with the forceps, we can slow the spread of the toxin. Doctor, the arm has expanded back. We can extract it now. That takes yes, well. care of one of them. We don't want to let the toxins reach the places where there aren't any grapplers because that will cause them to regenerate. To also, we can uh, pinch parts that haven't been reached by the toxins yet. Let us just slow down. Arms. That's probably the result of a rapid contraction designed to stimulate regeneration. All right. Perhaps this I'll can be used to that. our advantage, since it places a great deal of stress on the core. If we repeat this process, we may be able to force the core to destroy itself. All right, so let's give it a just shot. keep doing this over and over again. Its arms are back out. Hurry up and remove the grapplers. And be as precise as we can manage. Oh my movement of the freaking toxins. So it's can mess you up if I don't get soon. It's extended its arms again! Oh boy, well at least the arms are long this time. So we have a bigger window of opportunity for the grapplers. His vitals oh, are dropping. We can't allow the toxin to reach the grapplers. Hello, I'm pressing this thing. There. Just take care of this, and we should be good for this round. At least if there's another one. Core's weakening. All right. So now it has four, so we gotta watch out for that one. Chan, the ones that we apparently don't pay attention to as much. All right, we should be good. So we'll keep doing this until eventually. I don't know what's gonna happen now, but there we go. This happens. We beat it! We beat it! And we win. That was incredible. We never gave up. So I would be in, in the face of that. I saw a form of malaria. If you know the difference. I forgot what it's like to have a real operating room. I hope that's the last we see of that thing. Well, the operation was a success. Great work. That was an admirable effort, considering the difficulty of the operation. Yes, it was a tricky one, but somehow we managed. I don't mean to press my luck, but I actually have another favor to ask of you three. This will be an extremely difficult task. So it's no different than usual. Don't worry. We're quite used to extremely difficult tasks by now. We received a request for aid from the country of Kuluruma, where an outbreak occurred. 
They desperately need doctors who know how to treat stigma. Town looks just like before we need to go south. The government would like to provide assistance. South of the equator. That is, of course, if there are any doctors willing to volunteer. And you want us to go? If we can get some of our personnel into Kuluruma, where that metal originates, then I believe we can advance our research on stigma. But to do so, we have to put three of our finest staff members in danger. Not just of infection, but also of insurrection. Danger of insurrection. Kuluruma is a hotbed for guerrilla activity. It's a time bomb waiting to go off. What do you think, Val? Well, ultimately, what's our purpose? I mean, is it worth risking our lives for? If we're trying to convince ourselves, we could say it's to protect the world from stigma. Elena, how do you feel about traveling south of the equator? Well, it's better than going somewhere cold. I disagree with that. Glad to hear that. Then it's decided. We accept, Madame Director. So I guess it's time to go to North Venezuela. I guess it's not really clear. They do have Hispanic names, I think. Allow me to introduce President Moreno, who has taken time out of his busy schedule to greet you. Welcome. I thank you wholeheartedly for coming all this way to save our citizens. It's an honor to meet you, Mr. President. Nice to meet you, sir. We hope that we can be of assistance. Hmm. You're much younger than I expected. But nevertheless, I'm sure you're quite skilled. They seem a bit suspicious. Stigma has claimed many victims, and now rumors are sending the populace into a panic. My people's suffering is my own. That is why I am so grateful to receive help from your country. We'll do our best, as a sign of friendship between our countries. I am counting. Commander, where are the doctors headed? Sir, they'll be deployed to Arbel, sir. I see. Our American friends may not be prepared for what is in store for them. But I am afraid we have no alternative. I'm counting on the three of you to care for the infected and determine the cause of the outbreak. In any event, there are some unruly elements in this country. Oh, I almost forgot. Commander, bring her in. Twelve. Yes, sir. Right away. I am assigning you a special escort. You're our important guests, after all. Actually, we've got two female. Come, Papita. People. Or, well, one female person. And this one. That will help us out here. <laughs> Don't be afraid. She's a smart dog she won't mind. In fact, she's very well trained. It's a custom in our country to give such dogs as special gifts. I hope you'll accept her. Uh, yes, um, thank you very much. Mm. Nice to meet you, Papita. <laughs> I intended to have a banquet prepared in your honor, but... We're doctors, not diplomats, so there's no need for formalities. We're here to help the sick. Yes, you're absolutely correct. We all have our work to attend to, including me. I wish you the best of luck with your assignment. Well then, good day. The president is now leaving the premises. The president sure seems busy. Yeah, he has his hands full between the gorillas and the economy. And add to that stigma. Nice to meet you, Dr. Vaughn, Dr. Blaylock, well, and Miss Salazar. And you are... Maria Estrada. I was born here, but I went to med school and did my residency in the U.S. Well, how did that work out for you? I'll be acting as your interpreter. I'm thinking about practicing medicine here, actually. Oh, yes, they did say something about an interpreter. Maria, are you feeling okay? I think I may be coming down with something. Oh boy. Look at her eye, Val. It's all red. Maria, did you get your immunization shots before returning here? No. Because I was born here, I didn't think I needed them. Well, how long did you live here before you left? As a doctor, you should know better. Val, she might have Vimase fever. If that's the case, she'll need immediate treatment. That's endemic to this region, but she hasn't lived here in years. It's apparently years. Oh, Marina, I need your help. We need to check her lungs. Qualification. Okay, I'll get everything ready. I don't really know how that works, but... We're unfamiliar with Vimasi totally. fever. 
you got fever tumors, so... Supposedly, it causes unusual tumors in the lungs. That's all I know. I think we're about to see the closest this game will come to Dr. Mario. Those must be the fever tumors mentioned in the examination reports. It appears that removing these tumors will greatly improve the patient's condition. That gives us an idea of how to treat her, but aren't these readings strange? You're right. These fluctuating numbers are a cause for concern. It seems like they're periodically rising and falling. We can't just leave her like this. There's no time to waste. Let's begin the operation immediately. Okay, here we go. Let's open her up. We have to treat her. Well, here we go. Let's all do our best. That certainly didn't take very long. So these are the fever tumors. At least we won't have to use the ultrasound to find them, like with normal tumors. That'll help save us some time. We'll still have to be exceptionally cautious. Look at it. It's changing colors periodically. It's like a chameleon. I believe that we can use the same procedure to remove these as with normal tumors. They're already exposed. Hello. So please begin by draining the cytoplasm. Look out for the colors, though. Now that you've drained the cytoplasm on the treadmill, we successfully extracted it. The membrane's been affixed, but it left a scar. He'll do that. Doctor, it's bleeding and it's become inflamed. Oh, sure. So, basically, don't touch them while they're red. That'll happen. So, pretty much don't bother doing anything with them while they're just starting to turn them. Because they leave scars, even the ones you've already taken out will be an obstacle. Hmm. Also, I think they still change color even if, they're, if they've already been cut out. That's kind of annoying. have been removed. Please treat the remaining. What should we do about these scars, Doctor? The readings show that the tumors are gone, right? These must be normal scars, then. Yeah, normal scars that are attuned to respond to the other tumors. We'll send the data back to Caduceus, just in case. Let's close her up. Please close up the patient. Well, at least that went. Not just bad as it was. Seeing a tumor change color like Gone that badly. was surprising, to say the least. But I'm glad there weren't any complications. Good work, team. Not there weren't any complications, like one of these scars exploding and producing inflammations. Gas outbreaks. Well, apparently that's what What are we going to do with our interpreter bedridden? Unfortunately, that's not the biggest problem here. You see, she's also a doctor. We could have taught her how to treat stigma. Someone will have to continue seeing patients after we're gone, right? Well, we talked it over. What did she say? She insists on coming, even if it kills her. Are you going to allow that, Marcus? As a patient, I would advise her not to go. But as a doctor, I must respect her decision. She studied medicine to help the people of this country. And now is their greatest hour of need. If we carefully monitor her condition along the way, will that ease your fears, Val? Yes, somewhat. But I completely understand her desire to help people. Tell you what else we got to do in Socialismville. Oh, God. Sartena pura esteno. Pufta inamika. That's not Spanish. He works at the mine, too. He says that one of his friends has also contracted stigma. Some victims were taken to the hospital. Many have already passed away. That's so. what I imagined. So the mine he's talking about, is it nearby? F. Tenesem Esteno? Maybe it's supposed to be like a made up indigenous language. He says it's about a two hour walk from here. We suspect that there's a relationship between the mine and stigma. 
I think that's a reasonable conclusion. But since so many of the villagers work at the mine, it'll be hard to prove it. So this is where the mine workers live. It's a poor village, but things have gotten better since the mine was built. However, the villagers only receive a tiny fraction of the profits. I like that it's a poor village with like dilapidated houses and stone roads, but they can still somehow manage to get like paint for graffiti. Who owns the mine? The government. But they sold the mining rights to an international corporation, so a lot of foreigners come and go. It's also been the target of guerrilla attacks. What about the victims of stigma? Epi Kahini Chui and Daya? Adohipko and Ansi. He doesn't know the exact number, but there are more than a few. Tell him to bring some of them to the army's camp. We'll operate once we're through examining them. And also, tell them not to worry about the cost, because the president is footing the bill. All right. Apparently we're looking Doctor, into mine we're workers. setting up the operating tent. Thank you, Commander. What's the status of each patient, Marcus? There are three who need to be opened up immediately. Let's do one right after the other. Pepita, it's your job to guard the tent, okay? Maria, these are going to be intense operations. Will you be all right? Yes. I'm feeling a little better now. Watch carefully, okay? This is a complicated procedure that you'll need to learn. Gabriel Mejia. Not bad for a makeshift operating room. I don't foresee any problems with operating here. Let's begin the conference at once. The results of the examinations indicate that these three people require immediate surgery. Each of them has been infected with a different strain of stigma. Three people with Hearing stigma. that stigma is spreading sends a chill down my spine. This is a first. We'll have to perform three consecutive stigma operations. Do you remember how to deal with each strain, Doctor? Well, I hope so. That's what we've got you for, Elena. In that case, I'll do my best. There's so much that I must learn. In order to save my country and those suffering from disease, I can't miss a single detail. I, th I think it just be on that, though. Anyway. This will be a race against time, so let's get started. If your country's in a civil war, I don't think the cease is entirely to blame. Three stigma patients in a row. This is gonna be a crash course in stigma treatment, Maria. It's not gonna be easy for us either, but we need to give it all we've got. Okay, oh well. let's begin operating on the first patient. This strain of stigma is Soma. Oh, this one should be simple enough, at least. We begin by I draining the side of the main section, right? Exposed. Use the laser on it. Oh, come on. The laser there is working. Go. Fish one that there should be enough time for. Drain everything fast enough. What to do? Yeah, like that. Right after the draining is complete, without it having to regenerate. It's split up. Okay. I remember from the times I played this on console if I managed to get there every time or not. Just a little more. Hopefully I might have though. I think the S rank is a lot less about uh, timing and a lot more about doing the high score though. Minutes. The first patient has been treated. Let's move on to the next patient. Ten minute timer for three people, though. We're 
We're going faster than we planned. Amazing. Move on to the second patient. The stigma is Brachion. Brachion, which in case you miss it, is the arm. With the grapplers. We'll need to extract the tissue at the tips of the arms. Get Robert's new serum ready. All right, here we go. It's going kind of fast, though. If we crush the grapplers Oof, with the forceps, the toxins will be slowed. Yeah, well, I intend to. Thanks for reminding me, though. But I finally forgot to excite that one. Well. The grapplers have grown back. Remove the tips. Oh shit. Alright. Alright, let's see how many want we want for this one. It was like four for the first one. So what's the last one? The third type is Ops. Oh boy. This is our last patient. Well, at least we don't have some idiot with a microphone shouting at us today. We'll be able to focus. Some time to fight. Parasite Confirming seems to be. Confirming the presence stadium. of Ops. Use the laser on the core. Drain the discharged material. We're almost done. Use the laser on the large discharge. The tissue has formed a tumor. Burn it with a laser. Unless I start killing him with or her with advantage. I can't believe we finished so fast. You really are amazing. I hope that our operations today will lead to the advancement of medicine in this country. Don't worry, I'm sure they will. Well, I don't know. Sometimes paperwork can be quite obstructive when it comes to bureaucracy. Maria, think you can remember all that? I've memorized the steps, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to perform the operation. 
What's most important is for you to discover your own talents. Don't put so much pressure on yourself that you have a nervous breakdown. You know, there's one thing that's been bothering me. What's that? Why was the outbreak here so sudden? If it had something to do with Calurium, then it should have happened sooner. I just don't get it. Why now? Anyway, we need to have a look at that mine. Let's go talk to the commander. Alright, we gotta investigate the magical pathogen creating metal. He says he'd be glad to tell us the way to the mine. He also says thank you for saving the villagers. That's nice to hear. But tell him that we still have a ways to go before stigma can be prevented. My men and I will escort you there, but it's a dangerous area. We should avoid staying there too long. There's no reason to worry. We have Pepita with us, remember? Besides, it's pretty important. Oh, Tofturi Pasamika. He says that since we have a dog, this might help. It's a towel used by one of the mine workers. Ah, this will keep us on the right track. Well, the dog's presence important is about to be punctuated here. What is here. it, Pepita? Is something out there? Let her be. She's probably just barking his shadows. But I have to admit, I'm a little disappointed. I wasn't expecting this mine to look so ordinary. According to Robert, this is the world's only deposit where special microorganisms live in the ore. He also told me that its formation has something to do with bionic alloying. Let's bring a sample back with us, even though we already have some of the imported metal. Bionic alloying in a metal. Valerie, do you think that the stigma here occurred naturally? That happens in a mine. This is a unique environment, although the ore has been mined here in the past. Regardless, stigma is a bizarre organism. My guess is that it was intentionally introduced to the area. Mm -hmm. But for what reason? Well... Remember what that bastard Kidman said? Stigma would be the ultimate weapon there. What if this place was targeted? The mine? Yeah, considering the amount of profit it generates, it wouldn't be surprising if they showed up here. Besides, this is the perfect place to test stigma. You're suggesting that Kidman's involved somehow? Pepita? Well... We're under attack! Return fire! You can't see them anywhere! Pepita tried to protect us and... It's a bit awkward looking, Arthur. No, Pepita, stay back! Isn't there anything you can do for her, Doctor? She'll go into shock and die at this rate. We have no choice. Well, we're not vets, but we gotta give it a shot. It's all right, Pepita. We'll save you. We're in a war, but we're not vets, eh? So it's time to... to do magic surgery on a dog. Let's stay calm and talk this through. Multiple pellets have struck her abdomen. We've seen this before. It's a shotgun wound. Looks like she was shot from a distance, though. None of the pellets went all the way through, so they must be embedded inside her. Our goal, then, 